This isn't a garden, this isn't a landscape. It's a piece of South Korea that has helped and healed me. I was given a life-changing diagnosis a few years ago, and this place has helped me spiritually, medically and emotionally. So this place is not only an evocation of the Jiri Mountains, but also shows the connection between people and plants. My health meant I might not come to Chelsea ever again. But I have. I am here. And I'm here because of the plants, because of the mountains. We're surrounded by medicinal plants, but also imagine a man living here, maybe a huntsman or man of the woods. He uses the wood. He dries the herbs in the drying tower. Men and nature entwined, respecting each other, but neither one dominating. Welcome to my world of healing, my healing place, the Jiri Mountains. Chelsea is the epicenter of horticultural excellence anywhere in the world. There isn't a flower show anywhere else in the world that comes close to this. And this is, this is far more than just a flower show. It's, it's inspirational, it's, it's aspirational. It's the most incredible place to test new ideas, to tell a story and to try new things. And for Jihei, she had a story that needed to be told. And her narrative, her way of telling that story is through this garden, it's through using trees, rocks, water, details. That's how Jihei tells her story, and it's a story that everybody needs to know. So the plant matter um, in this garden is a combination of varying vibrations, according to Jihei and they work together as a holistic approach to health and wellness. Her approach to planting is dense, it's, it's detailed and it's really sculptured. She's actually an artist in the garden and she takes all her inspiration from the mountain that she spends so much time in. And you can see her pausing in her vision as to what she saw on the ground in, in, in the true life. She has really, really mimicked here with the healing plants that she worked with for, for such a long time. And so you get a, almost a spiritual feeling as you walk into the garden. It's, a, it's an atmosphere that she creates that you can't actually put a name on. And that atmosphere is definitely a combination of Jihei's beautiful spiritual being and the plants that she's put together and brought out here. And she features so many unique Korean plants and unique plants that need protection and need looking after and need awareness to do that. So obviously we couldn't bring Mount Jiri to Chelsea, so we had to use what was available to us in the UK but hopefully we've managed to use these materials, the, these rocks and these plants, these trees, the tower, to really bring a slice of, of Mount Jiri and its, and its spirituality and its importance to the Chelsea Flower Show. As the project manager, my job is to, is to get inside Jihei's head, understand her dream and her vision, and I think throughout the whole process, I completely underestimated what that was and how special that was but we spent lots of time in, in Inverness choosing these most amazing granite rocks we spent days on end in the Lake District traversing mountains tracks streams looking at moss and details and trying to understand exactly what it was she wanted to try and recreate we were then in North Wales where Krug plants have grown on all of these plants which were collected from seed from Mount Jiri in South Korea 
which is a slice of the landscape that we're trying to recreate. I can tell you, having just briefly seen a glimpse into it, it's next level. There is no other designer on the showground or has been with the same mindset that she has, because this is more than just a garden. This is a piece of her. I have been exhibiting for over 30 years at this Chelsea Flower Show. It is the best flower show in the world. Personally, I have been awarded 14 gold medals at this show. And I know when I see a garden that is exquisite. The attention to detail from a letter from a millionaire's past is just exquisite, down to the broken pots in the pathway and a little seedling when you go into the, where they're drying the herbs in the little tea house. And when, there are herbs here that I wish I grew, you know, like the, the ginseng and things like this. I mean, I've just seen, I grow the, the, the Szechuan, but I mean, there are other plants here. I'm just, wow. I mean, I grow over 500 herbs, but then I could add some of these herbs and my collection would get even bigger. You know, it's very exciting. It's wonderful to have this kind of garden at a show which is so naturally put together. Congratulations on your beautiful garden. It's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. The attention to de detail is breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. And the, her knowledge and her passion for getting every detail right. Rocks, 200 tons of rocks from Scotland and uh, the fact that it's uh, her garden has got height and a, a very beautiful path without any consideration for a tall person like me which is great because that means they have to dip down and you have to weave your way through the garden like you would in real life uh, and so it's it's something that you just need two hours here three hours here just looking at all the detail uh, uh, it's just uh, really splendid and um, we're sitting, I don't know whether you can take the camera up and see where we're, we're actually, uh, where we are here, but uh, we're in this uh, herb drying shed or house or home, but the attention to details everywhere is just, just breathtaking, so well done. For me good gardens have a magical quality, a kind of mystery sometimes and when you go into them rather than just look at them from the outside you feel that atmosphere and there is so much atmosphere in this garden, so much beauty and this wonderful mixture of, of plants from cool temperate climates and mountain climates, mountain streams so the landscaping looks artless but it's very artful. I love it, it's got the most glorious feeling very special garden and you don't often get gardens that are as powerful as this. There's a certain sort of predictability about certain gardens that, you know, hard landscaping, formality, hard lines softened by plants. But this is a piece of nature, this is a piece of mountain and drop down here with this wonderful, I'm a plantsman and the arrangement of plants here and the quality and the variety is exciting. Um, and I just love being in it. I don't think I want to move now, thank you. I'll just stay here for the rest of the day. I thought it was inspiring, really wonderful. Yeah. I was actually quite overwhelmed meeting her because as she revealed the journey she's been on, I sort of realised she had been extremely ill and that in some way, kind of organic earth had helped her recovery. And in a way, she was here to kind of celebrate the role that Earth played in, in her becoming so much better. There's a lot of people here and you go just a few steps into the garden and you're lost, you're anywhere. Uh, it's beautifully conceived and what I find extraordinary is that it feels as if it's always been there but I presume it started off on the flat and all this work has gone into making it. There is an ultimate peace when you get to the top. You know, you're down here and there's the hurly-burly. In only a few steps, 
you're into some sort of heaven. This is beautiful, beautiful, and it's so Thank you nice. So much. But I'm so happy I got to see this. Yes. Are you kidding? It's so happy. Special. Oh, thank you. Wonderful to meet you. Really an honor. This is a, an amazing spot. I want one of these. It's like the ultimate tea man cave. Uh, but brilliant, and there's the herbs all dangling up here, the lovely tea, beautiful uh, garden. It feels a real privilege to be here. Thank you very much. But I was told way over there that, you, that I have to go inside that structure as the most magical interior. It looks so realistic, so I, I hardly have seen any garden that looks so true to what it could be, you know. So it's not a show garden, it's a real garden. You know, in general, Korean gardens are just public gardens where people uh, get uh, entertained, you know. It's not really a garden that we probably would make there. If you look at this garden, it's already existing, but this is seen as nature and not as gardening, you know. But I would love to see this as a kind of gardening, but this is the kind of gardening that where you really need knowledge and understanding and about succession, about how plants develop. And that's hard to do in a private garden, you know, that people, when people love plants, they probably will buy plants because they love the plant. And this is uh, another world of, uh, you know, it's another world. The motto of the morning, don't worry, be happy. And it's a gold. Congratulations. Yay! Oh, <laughs> 이 잠재된 가치와 의학적 가치에 대한 인정이라고 생각이 들고 한국 주변 산야의 에, 어, 어, 지리산의 가치를 한국 정원으로 보여주게 되어서 너무나 기쁘고 한국 정원이 무엇인지 10년 전에 알지 못했지만 어, 이제 한국 정원이 무엇인지 어, 편하게 이야기할 수 있을 것 같아요. 감사합니다.